What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, JB, a.k.a. the King of Soul. And today, we got some Jordan 1s to look at. The Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. This is the Fragment Colorway. Before we get into the review, do me a favor. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. If you do dig the content, also hit that share button. Now, these videos that we do on this channel are strictly for review purposes. So, if you do happen to have any questions or comments, Definitely feel free to drop those down below, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the review. So it is collaboration with Fragment Design and their Jordan brand. Like they didn't really do too much special with the packaging. They did give us this standard Air Jordan 1 box. And when I say that, it's pretty much an all black box. And you do have the red Nike branding up top on the lid there. Now pretty much throughout the entire box, they do have more hits of that red Nike branding there as well. The bottom portion of the sneaker box doesn't really have too much going on. It's just all black and they do have the red Nike branding there. And it does say like made in China toward the bottom. So for those that do care about that, there you go. Now the box label on the sneaker does read Air Jordan 1 and Fragment. The colorway says black, sport, royal, and white. So when you do open the box, nothing special. It's just like, you know, any other Air Jordan 1 box. Um, and they did just give us like, you know, that standard white tissue paper like they always do. Now me personally, I would have expected a little bit more from like, you know, this um, release. Maybe like, you know, like a Fragment Design logo on the box or something like that. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. In my opinion, like this was a pretty solid colorway. Now, I didn't really, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really understand like the hype behind this sneaker because like even when you look at it, it does pretty much remind you of like, you know, an Air Jordan 1 black toe. And when I say that, you pretty much have like, you know, this black and white panels of leather, white perforated toe box area. And then like going towards the back, you know, you do have that hit of blue versus like the red with the Air Jordan 1 black toe. Um, and then like, you know, for the most part, like just looking at the sneaker, you can see that there are um, the, the, the material, the quality of leather that they used on this sneaker is a little bit more premium than what you would expect on most Air Jordan 1s. But there you go, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Fragment. So let's take a look at the right sneaker like we always do. And from hindsight, it does look just like any other Air Jordan 1 high sneaker. And when I say that, and this is pretty much just consistent with Air Jordan 1, they just have like, you know, their all leather upper. Again, the quality of leather is a little bit better on this release than most Air Jordan 1s, but you pretty much have like, you know, everything is identical from any other one. So you do have that uh, black Nike swoosh that is standard there. It does have that hit of white stitching there and then like this mid panel here there is on white. The leather quality there isn't too great. I mean it just feels like you know any other like you know leather Air Jordan 1. You really feel like you know the difference in the leather quality as you touch like the top portions here but like you do have this hit of blue dot leather here for the top panel here and there's that blue dot um, here portion there. Now they do have it dyed in blue and then you do have that black embossed Air Jordan 1 uh, stamp branding there. Now one thing that I did want to point out on this particular sneaker, one thing that I did notice like looking at this and other Air Jordan 1 highs, um, there seems to be like more of like an emboss, like it like feels like the grooves surrounding like the Air Jordan 1 Wings logo. It seems as if like, you know, it was, it penetrated the leather a little bit deeper. But at the end of the day, like, it just feels like, you know, it is like, you know, a deeper impression from like, you know, most Air Jordan 1 sneakers. And then of course, like one thing that people did go crazy about that fragment design um, embossing there on the bottom portion there towards the heel. Um, other than that, like the sneakers just looks like any other Air Jordan 1. You do have like this hit up black here up underneath. And then right here, there's a leather patch, like right here for like, you know, the um, the lace holes. And you do have more of that black leather going here and then going towards the front portion of the sneaker. Now, when you do come front, 
in the front area of the sneaker, you do see that white perforated toe box area. The leather here on the toe box, it's, it's not like um, tumbled or anything, but it is like this soft white leather here. And again, like from the touch, you can tell like it's a little bit different than most Air Jordan ones. They do have this black mud guard here surrounding like the front toe area. And then you do have like, you know, that black stitching there. The sneaker did come unlaced and it did come with these flat black laces and they did give us a secondary lace option. I'll show you that later on towards the end of the review, but at the end of the day, like it's just the black and they did give us the blue lace options as well. From there, behind like the arm um, laces, you do have this nylon mesh tongue which is standard with most Air Jordan ones in all black. And they did have like, you know, this black tag here. And this time they did give us that um, sport blue um, Nike Air branding there. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Surrounding like, you know, the, um, the uh, ankle collar area is like, you know, this hit of black leather here. And like I said, like the padded, the sneaker feels a little bit more padded than like, you know, most Air Jordan ones, but other than that, pretty much like that's all that's different on this sneaker compared to other Air Jordan ones. And then when you come over on the medial side of the sneaker, pretty consistent with the other side, you do have um, two hits of that sport royal blue, just like on the other side. You have your black Nike swoosh there. And then of course you have your smooth white mid panel here. And then more of that black leather going towards like, you know, the toe box area. From there, you're pretty much met with this white midsole. And then you do have that hit of that, um, that blue at the bottom. Uh, going towards the back of the sneaker. So of course, just like any other Air Jordan one, you do have like, you know, that hourglass appeal. And then like on the back, it's just like pretty much like, you know, that hit of blue. And it does have a blue tab here. And it does have like two rows of this white stitching here. Other than that, that's pretty much it. And you do have like, you know, that hit of black leather on this side and white. And that's just pretty much like, you know, from the um, Nike swooshes just meeting from both sides. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. The bottom portion of the sneaker is like, you know, pretty standard with most Air Jordan ones. So you do have like that circular traction, just like you do with any other Air Jordan one. It's all blue. And then you do have that Nike branding there in the middle. Um, that's it for the right shoe. Now the left sneaker, pretty uh, consistent with the other. Everything on this one is pretty much the same. So you do have like, you know, the um, fragment design embossing there on that side. And then as I mentioned, like, you know, when it does come to like, you know, lace options on this shoe, they did give us this um, set of blue laces here, but it doesn't really match the um, blue um on like the leather so like me personally i'm not really a fan of like this blue here so like me i'm gonna stick with like you know the standard you know black laces i feel like the black laces like you know look a lot better anyway than like you know adding like some blue in there that's pretty much it the only other thing that's like you know noticeable on this sneaker on the inside of the sneaker on the insole it is black and they do have the blue fragment design logo there now, if I were to rate this sneaker, I would actually go ahead and give this one a 10 out of 10, because I do feel like this was a, I don't know, it was a pretty solid release. And um, we really didn't have too many other Air Jordan 1 um, blue options other than like, you know, the, um, the Royal Air Jordan 1. So I don't know, it's just something different from like, you know, having like a black, red and white Air Jordan 1. I am like, you know, I'm a fan of like, you know, the quality materials that they use on here. So like the leather and everything, like I said, that's really like the only thing that's different from this sneaker to most Air Jordan ones. Um, the Air Jordan one is still one of my favorite um, silhouettes that Jordan brand does have to offer. In my opinion, like I said, I just feel like the sneaker in my opinion, like it's just a regular Air Jordan one black toe with the hit of blue on the back. So you're not really getting too much, you know, from this one. As far as like comfort, they fit just like any other Air Jordan one. Um, sizing for me is true to size on these. Um, I don't really foresee like a reason for you to want to go up or down the size or anything like that on this pair, but to each his own. But other than that, that's pretty much it. But I do want to take the time to shout out the vendor for getting me a pair of these 
on um, the channel to review for you guys. Um, and one more thing that I did, I almost forgot about this. So when you talk about this sneaker, okay, um, one of the other things that I did notice that was a little bit different was like, you know, the overall shape. So when you look at the back of the sneaker, there's like this little dip from here going towards like the top. Um, that is correct. This is how it should be. I know we have some areas of the ones where like, you know, it does go up like, you know, more straight, but like this particular sneaker, it was like an angle on this one. It was just the way it was crafted. I don't know. Maybe they, they intentionally did that. I mean, that's only thing, other thing that I really did notice about this one that was different from any other Air Jordan one, but 10 out of 10, man. But I do want to thank you guys for always taking the time to tune in. Remember to always stay engaged with me. I am on all platforms, so I can be reached on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, even here on YouTube. Everything is at the King of Soul. But before we go, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the B-roll. And I'm also going to give you a 360 like always. But there you go. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Fragment. So there's the uh, front of the sneaker. There's the uh, lateral side of the right. Lateral side of the left sneaker. There's your bottom. Standard Air Jordan 1 bottom. And it does, like I said, it just has like that hit of blue. There's the medial side of the sneaker. And then there's the back. But there you go, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Fragment. Again, I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to tune in like always, but until next time, see you later.